Hi, I am Sergas Arnes Kefalidis, one of the XFC developers and the maintainer of XFC Terminal. This is an update on what I've been working on in the last month. Um, recently I released a version of XFC Terminal 1.0.0. I didn't release a video about that because there, there were no new features or bug fixes in that. But if you're interested in reading what has happened uh, between 0.8.10 and 1.0, you can read about it in my blog, uh, in my website, I have a blog post. Uh, now, let's get right into it. Um, I've been working on two things mainly, both related to the settings uh, slash preferences. Um, so, the first thing is in the settings editor, there now exists a search bar. Uh, this is a project, like a feature that uh, that was based on previous work done by Simon, uh, who didn't finish developing it, and they took it up and finished it. Now, it's not exactly perfect yet, uh, there's, there are still some improvements to be made, but it's in a pretty good state, so let's say that we want to search for the cursor. And there, there you have it, and you can just press escape or backspace and all the results. It doesn't search throughout the channels, so if I go to Thunor and I'm like details view uh, or write cursor, I want uh, the results from uh, the. Where was it? Ah, this. Okay, that's interesting. Hey, <laughs> so we found the bug right now, but the results from other channels don't show up, so you need to click on the right channel. And that's one thing. And the other thing I've been working on was is refactoring that code and putting it into a shared library so we can use it and embed the settings editor in our apps. So here in Thunor, you can see that there is a new tab, miscellaneous, and what how is that pro pronounced? Is it miscellaneous? I'm not sure. I need to Google that later. And you can see here the preferences. Uh, normally, these preferences are hidden. The goal is to eliminate hidden preferences and have every preference be edit editable through the GUI. Uh, so right here we can like, it's a work in progress, both of these. No, the settings editor has been merged but there are improvements we made. Uh, this is a work in progress, the embedding the settings editor into the various apps. Um, like it won't happen for every app but it will probably happen for Thunar. Eventually it will happen for NextFC, it will happen for XFC Terminal 2. And you can see here I have the split pane. And if I click here, now it's split vertically. Previously, it was split horizontally. Um, not all of this work, like if I press always show tabs, it should show the tabs now, but it does not. I need to go there and then there, I guess. It didn't work. No. Okay, let's try this. Okay, now it works. So, as you can see, I need to go through every preference and fix the code wherever it doesn't update immediately. And that's pretty much it for the big things. Uh, I have also worked on improving the... Let me disable that. On improving the compact view. So, if we go to the compact view, and this is not a good example right now, so let me, let me find... Oh yes, we can do it actually, we can go to the preferences again. And change the, this is a new preference, and say 20, does not update, or is still too large, 10, no it does not update, so I need to go to Tuner again. And you can see here that the entries are ellipsized, it used to be that extremely big names were wrapped around, but that was really weird, and it didn't really look all that good. So we decided to just ellipsize them and the user can control the ellipsization length. If you put zero here, it won't ellipsize them at all. So it would be like that. Um, I, is there any, was there anything else? Uh, no, I've been mainly focusing on fixing bugs and helping new contributors because uh, Google Summer of Code has the, the proposal uh, period uh, ended in the 18th of April. So we both, of, both, most of us have spent, most of the mentors uh, have spent a considerable amount of time helping new contributors and helping candidates write their proposals. And we hope that this will also go well and help XFCE grow and have more contributors. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want, you can check out the 
new stable release of XFC Terminal. And yeah, that's it. Bye bye.